Well, Scotland just needed to win with the bonus points, set themselves up for next week, but they've done plenty more than that. They have put a huge score on Romania, bettering that which was achieved by both South Africa and Ireland. They brought in 12 tries, a big night for Ben Healy on his World Cup debut. And overall, they can be pretty pleased with themselves. Full time in Lille, Scotland 84, Romania 0. Yeah, it had the feeling of a, a formality, and uh, so it transpired uh, on the evening. It wasn't quite uh, Scotland's uh, record World Cup win. Um, that came back in 1995 against the Ivory Coast, 89-0, uh, but they were just uh, just short of it. Very impressive uh, victory for the Scots. Uh, but that's uh, how it looks in Pool B, and as we expected, it is all set up for next Saturday night in Paris. Uh, Scotland on to, on to 10 points. South Africa, we expect to get on to 15 if they get a bonus point win against Tonga tomorrow. Uh, and then Ireland, Scotland uh, to have the big shootout uh, at Stade de France uh, next week. So, Ireland, Scotland week starts here, uh, chaps. Uh, Andrew, does anything that happened tonight uh, become relevant for next week, in your view? Not really, to be honest. Um, I think there'll be intangible value that Scotland will get from this in, in terms of just momentum, getting back at things, even just getting some, some points in the pool and trying to build up towards what's going to be a huge ask for Scotland ne next weekend. But, I mean, in terms of a, a test match, that, that wasn't really. Romina didn't really turn up defensively. They were, they were passive enough. They switched off multiple times. Did okay occasionally with ball, ball in hand, tried tried hard a lot of effort right there but it just it, it, that's just nothing like what Scotland are going to be faced with against Ireland next weekend uh, I know Ian Foster tried to convince us all that you know the All Blacks against Italy was running rugby and this is what everybody wants to see I would rather see the test match we saw in Paris last last weekend it's a different sport altogether it looks completely different and what Scotland did tonight was great. It was just a formality, get that out of the way, and then it's just a different proposition next weekend. Just a little dose of feel-good for them before next week then, Matt, is that fair? Pro probably a little bit more. It makes next week very live, very relevant. Um, but they were always going to win that game. I'm, I'm, I'm full credit to Scotland. I, I didn't think they'd win by that much because it was this, and, and seconds team is, a, is, is insulting, I didn't mean that, but it's, it wasn't their starting team that we'll see next week. The guys played very, very well and, and, and they also left a lot of tries on that field. But really, you know, Andrew's right, the intensity, the, the le they'll have so much less time with the ball in hand, so much more contest at, the, at each breakdown, so much uh, more contest at each set play and, and they're going to be asked 10,000 more questions by an Irish attack. Now, that doesn't mean that Scotland are out of it. It just means it, it, Andrew's right. It's like a different sport when, mm. you, when you come to the intensity of these really big test matches. And, and, and again, I agree with, with Trimby. That's what we love. You know, th yeah. that, that, and, and, again, this is the festival. This is giving these remaining guys one of the, you know, an incredible sporting experience to play against three great rugby nations and they'll remember it the rest of their life, even though they did copper hiding in all three. For, for those guys coming from where they come from, that's still one of the great sporting experiences of their lifetime. That's what the pool stages are about. And next week, and occasionally in the pools, you'll get these massive games, and we've got one on our hands next week. Yeah, we do, Ian. Uh, give us your take, Dan. Um, anything you saw this evening, give you a little bit of concern for next week. Couple of couple of names there we will see in the mix, whether in the 15 or in the, in the 23 from Scottish point of view. Yeah, I think the three guys that stood out for me, Ali Price, Hamish Watson and Darcy Graham, they've definitely put their hands up you know, definitely to be in the selection conversation for next week and for Ali Price and Hamish Watson, will, you know, Gregor Townsend go with experience? Um, you know, they're two guys that can pull out big performances and Darcy Graham for me is someone who I don't think Ireland will want to play against. You know, we've no issues coming up against big, big physical wingers. It's someone who's got, you know, his agility that can cause us problems. Um, but look, the, the Scots are going to be happy with that performance. They definitely added a few strings to their bow. You can tell some of the things they've been working on in training, playing off nine, you know, mm -hmm. the variation between playing off ten, the long passing, the short passing. There was some nice variation in their game, and it's going to make the scout for the Irish coaching team definitely harder going into that the, the game next weekend.